by all indications, it is clear that agriculture has not blossomed under the NDC administration. These views of mine have been known for the last eight years on the floor of parliament, on television, writing newspaper articles to draw the attention of this country to the fact that the most critical sector of the economy, which is agriculture, is slowing down. Our diagnosis is very clear. The reason why agriculture is faltering is because there hasn't been enough public resources going into agriculture. This is why we say all the time in, on the platforms, in our manifesto and so on, that we will restore that balance, that in the four years of this new administration, we will make sure that we take it back. The share of agriculture, municipal of agriculture in the budget should go back to the 4%. So for instance, this year, we have made a recommendation to the economic management team that from the 1.1 percent which we saw in the last budget of the NDC, we should go to 2 percent, which will mean that the amount from 475 million that was allocated to the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries will then have to double, um, assuming that the same amount of uh, uh, size of the budget will stay, we'll have to go to 800 plus. And that would help us because you know that a very important part of agricultural service provided by government is extension services. That service is now collapsed. So what we are doing, we are, what we are, going to, we are saying is that apart from increasing the budget, we are also going to hire most of these unemployed extension officers, put them out in the field so they can work along the farmers, teach them how to do proper uh, modern uh, farming so that their productivity, their productivity, their yields will go up to help in, in the agricultural economy. All the things that I've said about what we are going to get, uh, we are going to do to, to change the face of agriculture will make it attractive for the youth. The youth are not going to come into, the youth are running away from agriculture because they see the poverty of their parents who are farmers in the villages and they, they are smart enough to know that, that they don't want to end up like they they have so if they see the transformation in the lifestyle and, and livelihood of their parents then if they come and sit in, t in in the cities and the towns and they are not finding jobs they will see that there's an alternative for them which will enable them to earn a decent income that's the whole idea and therefore that is what we are trying to do most of the the factories that we are talking about will be agro processing facilities which would which will create demand for the farmers to ensure that uh, the market is created for the farmers produce that whatever he produces will be sold will be bought by traders who will then move it on to uh, to the processes uh, and so on turn it into more value addition to create more jobs and also to create uh, higher incomes for for everybody else so that is a, a key po but you've forgotten apart from the one district one factory we are also saying what one village one dam which is also part of the transformation we are introducing mm -hmm.